Let's go out and get some questions from Fansville here, and uh, I want to answer what you guys are musing about out there. So let's get out there. Okay, Joe says, could the Big Ten pass the SEC as the premier football conference with the additions of USC and UCLA and the hiring of Matt Rule and Luke Fickle? Listen, all of that helps, but you're not going to pass the SEC as the premier college football conference in the country unless you start winning championships decade over decade, right? The, the, the runway that the SEC has built itself right now is, is quite long, and they have been a dominant force at the top end of college football for a long, long time. They also dominate the draft, you know? So as I've said countless times, the SEC is the premier conference in college football. Um, they are the best conference. They have been the best conference at the top. And until somebody beats them in those games, like national championship games, or even having more draft picks, then you can't say that you pass them. So, you know, are they going to pass them just because they add these two teams and these two coaches? No, it would take decades of success, uh, in particular winning at the top end and potentially winning national championships for a number of years in a row. All right, next up. Uh, this one says, should the Big Ten get rid of divisions when UCLA and USC join? If not, where would you put, put them division-wise? Listen, I don't think divisions are great in college football, just in general. I think what you get um, is, is, is championship games that, that don't mean quite as much from a playoff perspective. So I think that we probably will move away with division uh, from divisions. Now, having said that, though, I think the interesting part is – do you really want your two best teams out there playing each other and, and that second best team maybe getting a second loss to that best team? How, how does that relate to a six team at large berth into an expanded playoff? Right. I think those are all questions that you've got to look at, but in general, I don't love divisions in college football. All right. Next question. This says, uh, David says, what's the solution to the committee? A revamp BCS, uh, only computer calculation, something else. I actually think it's a combination, right? If you had a committee or two of 12 people sitting in a room um, that, that are debating and ranking teams, plus two or three computer calculations, what you would get is less statistical variance uh, with one biased input. Right now, this 12-person committee, one person gets biased, one person owns the room, and then all of a sudden, the entire ranking can get thrown out of whack where we need to vary that out, right? And, and have more inputs into the variable in order to come up with these rankings, which are the end all in our um, current system. And even when our current system expands to a 12-team model. All right, last one. A AC says... Should they be fired? Absolutely not. That's ridiculous. Ohio State fans have got to gain some perspective here. All right, you lost one game. You played pretty good defensively, except for what, four or five plays. Ryan Day is 45 and five as a head coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes. 45 and five, including being in the top 11 in every single one of those 50 games, in his 50 games. No other coach in the history of our sport can say that. So I think gaining some level of perspective here should should be required. And by the way, Ohio State fans, it's not a birthright that you beat Michigan. I know that you felt like it was for the last two decades, but that was a Michigan program that was down. Okay, they finished unranked seven times from 2006 to 2021. Unranked. Meanwhile, Ohio State has been Ohio State for a long time. The difference now is that Michigan has put themselves back on that elite tier. So you've just been joined. It's not a birthright anymore. It's a rivalry. And Ryan Day be fired. Like, give me a break. Have some level of perspective, Buckeye fans, because that type of sentiment isn't doing anybody any good. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.